Okay, here we go. We're here to talk about War and Order SVU again. The shitty sets that I bought. Well, I don't have a choice now, but it's very hard to find legit ones because no one takes pictures on eBay or anything. And if you get them on Amazon, you can still get ones like this. People think it's just eBay. It's not. It happens everywhere. Okay, so let's see. I go off a of disc four into five. So, pure. A mother reports her 18 year old daughter missing, and detectives. Wait, wait a second here. No, 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 no. Let me see this. <laughs> this seems screwy to me. Um, let's see. That was disc four, episode. Okay, no wonder why. I guess I'm. I'll just go by this. I don't care now. A mother reports her 18 year old daughter missing, and Detective Stable and Betts are on the scene to attempt to track the daughter down. Psychic. Yeah, this was the right one. The psychic Valentine guest star Martin Short, who also was Jack Frost in Santa Claus 3. Isn't that creepy? Went from a kid's movie to act like a, a psycho, rapist, or whatever we, they call him. It's really disgusting. Um. It's brought to you, but that's why you're a, um, an uh, actor. You can just go from one role to another. It's brought into the investigation. It seems to hold all the clues, claiming to see visions of the girl. You know, right there, he's trying to probably put himself in the investigation. The investigation takes a shocking turn, leading the detectives to suspect that Sebastian knows more about the case than he is sharing. Well, no duh, right? It's pretty obvious. The next one was intoxicated. When Denise Eldridge finds her 15-year-old daughter Carrie in bed with a 21-year-old Justin. <laughs> That's not as well. it, It's so funny because, you know, you know the people can't be t like 15 or 21 years old. Because if they were, um, they would never be allowed to have a scene like that in a movie. I just want people to know that. Like, if an actor has to be at least 18 years old or older to be in bed with someone else, I can only assume that's a actor's rule. I'm mean, not actor's rule. The industry rule is probably the law. She immediately calls police to have Justin charged of statu statutory rape. Benson intercedes on the behalf of Carrie calling a child's rights lawyer to assist her, but Denise turns up dead. Carrie and Justin both end up on the suspect list. Benson tries to get some help from Simone Bryce, but Bryce is obligated to protect her client. Okay, that was an okay episode. Now, there was one of these episodes I wanted to talk about, but I didn't get to it yet. All right, night. Detectives Benson and Stabler investigate the rape and murder of a woman who was found in a nightclub with $500 stuffed into her mouth. The only clue is the case is the money and the fingerprints, leading the detectives to a hot shot the lawyer, Jason Whitaker, guest starred Bradley Cooper. Pretty cool to see Bradley Cooper when he was really young. You see, um, instead of like something like American Sniper. Um, Benson and Stabler discovered that he was a trustee of the DeVoe family estate. They questioned matriarch Eleanor DeVoe, guest star Angela Lansbury, which was awesome to see her in something besides Murder, She Wrote. And she was pretty good, but she got such a small part. I don't even see what the point was in being in being in Law and Order. Some of these actors, they do two episodes the entire series. Try to come in more often. I can understand Angela Lansbury because she was probably, let's see, she died at, at, what, 98 years old, I think. So if you back it up to whenever this was, 2008, uh, she was probably maybe in her early 80s or late 70s. And I know a full-time role wasn't in, in, in the working, but she could have did a little more. It would have been more fun. I would have liked to have seen her do it. Okay. Who leads them to a son, Gabriel Yaddy. All clues point to Mr. De Mr. Duvall, but there is not enough evidence to charge him. A surprising plot twists ADA Novick, Diane Neal, and tr Grave Danger, and Tracy Cabry guest stars as B.B. Newworth from NBC's Law and Order Trial by Jury. Yes, I think she was the one that was in Madam Secretary too. This woman's pretty interesting. She's in a lot of different stuff. She, she's, in, she's in some movies, too. The problem I have to to say with it, though, is is that no, nobody knows what Trial by Jury is because nobody's watched it very much. Because it got cancelled after less than 12 episodes. 
I believe. I think it was less than 12. I have it upstairs on DVD, and I have Los Angeles on DVD, too. It's funny, they did so bad, but they released a DVD for it. Okay. Let's see now. I'm trying to figure out, see, it's, it's, these are in such horrible order. How do you know, like, usually it's from left to right, that would mean the next episode. Okay. Blood. I think it's blood that's next. I don't know. I, let me see. Let me look on the fly. Okay, yeah, it's blood. A girl is brutally assaulted outside a nightclub with her attackers stealing her car and throwing her nine-month-old baby from the car as they disappear. That's just wrong. Detectives Benson and Stable investigate the case and discover the sexual assault is connected to legal tra trafficking and painkillers with the source behind the drug dealing and elderly woman. Hmm? Take a kid. They take advantage of the elderly. That happens. Jenny Rogers, Melinda Dillon, as the investigation progresses, Benson and Stable discover that Rogers is being abused by her son, Kevin, guest star, Mash Schulz, uh, I hope I said it right, S-C-H-U-L-Z. Remember, some of these bootleg people put all the stuff misspelled on here sometimes. Um, and daughter-in-law, when Rogers' daughter-in-law is suddenly murdered, Benson and Stabler persuade Rogers to turn her in her son, saving her from the abusive behavior. Meanwhile, Stabler struggles with a crushing issue involving one of his own children. I think it was a DUI with this kid. I'm not sure. But they didn't actually show it. So that's what kind of sucks with this, the children that they add on to these Law & Order shows. They don't show their story. There's no room to put them in the episode. So something happened to his kid. And all you know is she was at the police station. And they had a small scene. That was it. If they could actually show the scene for maybe a minute or two. It would make more sense. But no, they can't do that. So what was tonight's highlight? I don't think I'm going to start talking about my highlight, my favorite episode of the night. It was the one with Angela Lansbury. Because she's always, she was always very professional. Sally, she's not with us anymore, but she was always professional. And she knew how to um, play a part. And um, she, being someone on, that's in Sham, very rich in something, she played it very well. All right, that's it. Bye-bye.